Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to speak about climbing, floating and all the glitches regarding the climbing mechanics in Planet Zoo. Before we actually start with the video, I want to make a huge disclaimer. So first of all, I am a big, big, big fan of this game and I love what Frontier did with all the different mechanics. I even broke down the entire climbing system in every detail in a separate video. If you're interested in that and I highly recommend to watch that before watching this video, it's linked to the top right now, you can actually have a look how the system works. Today's video though will be about the problems of climbing and some ideas how to fix it short term and one special idea how to potentially even fix it in general. But before we start a little bit of a, a background to this now climbing in this game is something beautiful because we can create literally anything we want and the animals have the ability to climb it with a rather complex system behind that and this is why i'm going to quickly give you an overview how the system of climbing works before we then go into the problems and then I'm going to talk about the tips and tricks how this could be short term uh, improved and hopefully Frontier is listening. Um, I love you guys, you know that, but uh, it's very important to address that because climbing has been a little bit of an issue lately. Now, how does climbing exactly work in this game? I'm gonna give you a brief introduction to the climbing mechanics. So you have an animal, and in this case, we have the wonderful Eurasian Lynx here, one of the newest additions to the game. And this animal has a mega set of animations, okay? Each animal comes with, let's say, hundreds of single individual animations. And these in individual animations are basically played uh, upon what is going on, where the animal wants to go, and it creates the uniqueness of each animal. Now, for the climbing system, that works like the following. You have to imagine that this animal has a task in its artificial mind where to go. Let's say this animal now wants to go down from this platform. Now, as you can see, there's basically nothing around here. So the animal has to jump or climb or whatever. And now the game comes into play. If we click on the animal, we hit H for the overview and we go into the habitat and traversable area. You can see that there are certain uh, colors now appearing on your screen. Green is the indicator of things that can be climbed. Blue is the indicator of traversable area. That means traversable area is basically any kind of flat bottom terrain ground whatever you can imagine where the animal can freely navigate on it's important to know the difference because blue means there is a free navigation that means basically any kind of animation can be played in here green lines are climbing lines that means in this area, the animal can only have the animation set of climbing. And this is already where the problems will occur in the later part of this video. Now, as you can see, what kind of options does this animal have over here? Well, it can just go in the middle, lay itself down, sleep, or do whatever animation it wants in the middle. But now, leaving this part, it has to do something with these climbing parts. Now, if everything would work correctly, this animal now would jump somewhere, preferably over here, and then take one of these grind uh, green lines down to the bottom. Now, if I hit play now, you will see what happens with this animal. And I hope it does it uh, this time around. So there you can see the animal does one of the few things that works fine. It just jumps down. Now, what happens if I put the animal back up here? Let's quickly do this in order to show you some of the major things that run with climbing. Now, we have put the animal now in a space where it has more options than it had over here. Let's see what the animal does now and uh, upon that give you a little bit of an explanation what's happening. So, the animal starts walking around. Um, not really knowing what exactly is going on. I'm gonna speed the process up and it does jump down to not grant us access to one of the animations. That's a pity though. Let's just uh, put it up here so it has to do something else. I'm sorry, this is, you know, the animals in this game never do what you intend them to do. Um, gonna speed up the whole process again. And there you go, things start to be weird. Um, as you can see, the animal is now starting to do something, um, but not what you expect it to do. It's starting to float around. And now the problem is, why is this happening? And it, the explanation is rather simple, but complex at the same time. Now, the animal has, as I said, the set of animations, and animations are looped or played after each other upon what they are doing. Now, with this kind of climbing system, there are a lot of 
potential complexities involved because there are so many options for the animal involved that it has to choose the exact right option to do something. And if I just go over here, you can see there are three green lines. You've got the one from the uh, branch down here coming up. You've got that one connecting and then you've got this green line over here. This is rather simple because the animal knows going up here, taking this one, taking that one. But many things come into play. What is the angle of this piece? How thick is this piece? How much is the difference between these individual pieces? And all these different factors tie into what animation is going to be played. And at this point, Planet Zoo is just simply having too many options. And that's now the problem we have. Let's talk about the problem. All right, so I changed a couple of things and uh, this is a new situation over here. You can see we have a tremendous climbing rig in front of us. And this is where the problem starts to appear. We have so many different pieces coming together here that it creates certain things like this triangle. And this triangle basically creates confusion for the system. The animal does not know where exactly to go. It has several options to go from here to here here but most likely the game will not choose the right option and this is where the glitching starts so you can explain glitching basically as um a way too high number of potential solutions for pathfinding that are not correct just imagine you have your animal and it wants to go from spot a to b and in between there is a climbing possibility and it would be all good if there's only one single option for the animal to choose, then the climbing animation will most likely be perfectly fine. However, the game is so free and so amazing that it most likely never has only one option, but 10, 20, 30. And you have to imagine that there's only one combination of animations and pieces to be used for the animal that is correct. So unfortunately glitching at this point is very likely. And the other problem is that many of the pieces in the game are unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to put this, they are climbable. And here's where things start to be very complicated. We want to build buildings. But what happens with buildings? Yeah, well, you use wooden pieces and these are climbable. And this is where the confusion starts to go because you don't want your animals to be able to climb your building. Um, and this is the first point we have to talk about improvements. So the first point of my uh, potential ideas for improvement is a new filter. We do actually have a filter that is called climbable. And if you hit that, you can see which pieces to be built um, or to be used are climbable. And um, you can see that there are a lot of very commonly used building pieces that are climbable. Now, we all had a blast when we knew about this, that basically any piece that is realistically climbable is climbable in the game. But there's one major issue with it. If you choose a you know piece like that, this is a climbable option for the animal. I'm just going to quickly show this to you and I'm going to connect this together. So there you go. And I hit quickly play so the animal can just reframe its climbing abilities. And there you go. This is now climbable. But you can already see a couple of things happening here. Now, as we connected this, that's all fine, but you can see there are already triangles shaped. We have only on the edges the potential climbing. There is a triangular uh, triangle shaped and so on. You can see this is already creating a lot of confusion. Now, what would be very amazing is if I only want to have that as like, let's say something um, thematic in this habitat, I need an option up here that is disabling the climbable option of that piece. This would be absolutely superb because that way we could finally have buildings yeah, that well, are not climbable. I know it's kind of against realism, but it would make the operations for the animals so much easier because you delete so many options to go wrong um, and you raise the likeliness of it going right um, just by you know deleting options and I think this would be a very great thing. Another thing I really would love to see sting, sticking with that is just the, the simple toggle to say non-climbable because that gives me a better overview of which pieces I can use that are non-climbable. Now the next thing is if I copy this over like so and so and so, I'm going to let this uh, run for a second, uh, so the animal can actually have a little update. And this is the next problem that occurs. Now, this is how the pieces work together, and um, it would be better if this creates a wonderful single piece to be walked over. But as you can see, it's not one piece. It has no traversable area. It only has a couple of different lines, and not even correctly. This is why 
when you build buildings that have this um, wonderful looking walls out of these, these planks, you will have insane amounts of glitching with your animals. They can basically get to places where you never have thought they could simply because they glitch the walls and stuff like that. And this is not because and they do things entirely wrong. It's just they are having so many options that they take like a middle ground option to walk up to whatever space they are because these lines are available to them, which technically they shouldn't because no animal could climb there realistically this way. So yeah, it's a little bit of an issue and I really would love to see this option uh, to be improved. Now, well, let's go next to, to the next tip, okay? See, we had a wonderful update 1.8 and it brought finally one piece to the game or a set of pieces that every one of us was craving for and that was the barriers. And you can see it's called the guest barrier curb. So the reason why we wanted to have that is to have a better uh, um, control over guest flow. Let's say you don't want people to go through this Kind of wall piece over here because that's like one plaza okay and you've got these fence pieces and as we all know people just don't go through fences so what we would do we would basically put like this thing in here and then hide it into the ground and people couldn't go here so basically what we're doing is we are blocking traversable area now you can fake this with animals by using the elephant grass trick. In case you don't know this trick, the elephant grass basically acts like a barrier for animals. And if you rotate that 180 degrees, so upside down, and you put that into the ground, animals can't go into an area. But I would love to have a dedicated piece that can frame out areas that the animal can't go into. Like, actually, just an animal curb. Just not a guest barrier curb, it's just an animal barrier curb. That would be so helpful because then I could just say, you know what, I'm just building the building of my dreams, but I don't want this animal to actually climb on top of it. So I'm just putting a curb around this wall and around this wall and it's safe and animals can go in and out, but they can't climb up. If you remember my Siberian tiger habitat in Yosemite, which is like fully broken after all the updates and I can't recover it, this would be the stuff I need. This would be actually what I would need to yeah just fix it you know and um, I really hope that uh, Frontier is going to will actually uh, improve that now up to the next tip and the next one is jumping um, I can't really show it to you directly but I hope if I put the links in here again that it shows what's happening now I think that a lot of people in this uh, in this world uh, playing this game know that the jumping is a bit of a weird one in Planet Zoo. Um, but I think it can be very helpful in order to, yeah, just improve things. As you can see, this jump over here is, for whatever reason, and I tested that before doing this little cut over here, now finally working. And if jumping could become a little bit more of an important thing, then... Um, and also more accurate, then we can also reduce the amount of pieces we need to use for the climbing rigs and animals can use that a little bit of a, in a better way. Um, this way, we could finally have a bit more options to have animals jump from A to B to C without connecting this with a million pieces, as I said, and therefore reduce the complexity for the system. And the last tip before we go into the biggest solution I can offer today is enrichment pieces. Now, we got a lot of new pieces here from the enrichment and I was hoping that Frontier went exactly this step that I had in mind and created some pieces that are overhauled and that have a way better way of interacting with the set of animations from the animals, reducing the complexity and just having, you know, a perfect climbing animation for this piece. And hear me out, I know it is very very great to have so many pieces but especially with this brand new um goat rock i think it's called goat yeah there you go with this goat climbing mountain i think this opened my mind again for some improvements of enrichment pieces now enrichment pieces have the big advantage that there is a specific animation running for this piece only and it looks amazing and yes it is a step backwards if you if you consider planet zoo great because it's also free and they can climb your climbing rigs yep exactly that's what the problem is if you only have enrichment pieces that's basically just a scripted thing we don't want that but i would love to see is some semi-scripted pieces that you can put together to a perfect climbing rig let's say you get a couple of climbing elements like a ladder like a platform um like a rope or whatever which has the perfect climbing tuck to it and this could be used then together with other pieces. So at least to have some display areas that, you know, would work. Alongside this, I would love to become a bit more in control 
when it comes to where the enrichment happens because at this point climbing unfortunately is not enrichment it is a basic need of the animal if we click here you can see I mean I have uh, welfare turned off but the animal would have the climbing need and um, oh, I, I think it's basically um, yeah, I turned it off. So um, there is like a climbing need that you can only fulfill with climbing pieces, but it is not working as an enrichment item, which leads to the fact that they only use climbing to go from A to B rather to fulfill their climbing need itself. And I think if we could have a climbing rig and then have a dedicated tool to mark an area, maybe with like a null fence, you know, um, that would be huge because then we can put the climbing rig exactly in this enrichment area and then it wouldn't act as like, a, you know, a connector from A to B, but it would actually act like a enrichment item and they can climb only in there and then you can use specific pieces on display which work together. So that way you could make your animals always climb in the same area. You can create your habitat in a nicer way because you always have this climbing ability or like this climbing rig on spot and the climbing wood has less uh, have less glitches. But all of that is just a very short term solution which could be finicky, which could be weird. Let's talk about something bigger, okay? All right, so how about null climbing? Yes, you can see I did something on screen to show what I'm talking about. With everything we talked about in this video, you can see that the major issue about the glitching and the climbing is not the animation, and it's also not the system per se, it is the, well, organically grown complexity of the system, because we as players are doing completely ridiculous things that crash the system. Now, if you build a totally simple climbing frame with like a, a you know, with a lock connecting to another lock going down, most likely that will work perfectly fine. So I thought about how can we get easily back into this state? Well, if we just basically delete everything that exists to reduce the complexity to a maximum, I guess, um, and then just give the options that we want to give the animals. As you can see in front of me, I've got three different colors for different elements. This is the blue color, pretty simple for a, well, plane. This is where animals should be able to walk on, which is a traversable area in the air. Pretty simple. We've got the pinkish kind of circle-y thingies. This is a jump. And um, I guess since the jumping animation seems to be not... Um, so just to get that straight, the jumping animation is not a full cycle animation that has an, a, a precise distance in between. It seems to be the jump is like the jump off. Then you have got the floating animation and the landing animation but the distance in between is variable because we have different big cats that can jump further or less further and this means there has to be a flexibility in here and so why don't we get different types of jumping loops so to say so we can define where animals should be jumping where they should be landing and in which direction it might seem weird to you in the first place, but just imagine that all these things are just visible with an overlay and you don't actually see them in the game, just as the climbing and traversable, you know? And then obviously you've got the green rods as well to define where they can be climbing. Now, this way we would reduce the complexity for the animals so dramatically that in fact they have a very, very high potential to choose the right animation. It won't totally delete the glitching and whatnot, but it would at least give us a lot more complexity uh, control over the complexity of our climbing rigs. And also, this would eliminate all the other things, this finicky toggling from, you know, climbing or non-climbing, uh, the, the weird toggles of uh, what you would need to do for an enrichment area or whatnot, which essentially would be something completely new. So this way, we, we get a lot of control. And I know if that would be an update, um, it, it would crush all of your old parks. That means it would be very, very necessary that this is an, an added option. I also think this could be a huge, a huge performance increase for many, many people. Just imagine how many climbing pieces you have in your zoos that are not meant to be climbable by your animals but yet they still render every single element because they know it's there and they potentially could climb it even though if they can't reach it but as long as it's in their habitats they will try to calculate that from a computer standpoint. So I guess this was also something that will definitely reduce the load on your CPU dramatically because they don't need to render that. Um, Again, I know this is 
yet another level of complexity when it comes to all of the blueprints and stuff because many of the blueprints wouldn't work anymore. Um, but again, as I said, as long as it's an option and it could be working as something new, I would love this to happen because that is essentially what we would need in this game. We need the improvement by reducing the complexity to make it go. And as a basic conclusion here, the climbing as it is, as an idea in the game, is revolutionary, it's amazing, I love the freedom that Frontier decided to go to, because imagine, they could have easily said, we create only enrichment items and that's what you have to go to, and after a while every freaking habitat would look exactly the same, because you can only use the same climbing enrichment pieces. But they didn't, they, they went for a system that is just born to have issues because it's the first of its kind and it will need a lot of work to perfect that with the way they went to. But I think this could be a perfect, you know, um, combination of, of both things, of freedom but of control and just of creativity without making the system too complex. Um, and I would love to see how that would work out and how much it could eliminate the uh, problems with the climbing. Because I'm a big fan of this climbing. I'm a big fan of the fact that you create something totally unique and your animals theoretically are capable of climbing what you have built yourself. This is just pretty amazing and that's why I'm so much trying to go into this topic because I really, 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 really want this to work because it's so great and it gives so much to our zoos. So Frontier, if you're listening, can you just do that? Yeah? Can you just exactly do this um, if you want to have more just contact me i have ideas <laughs> i mean i know this would be a tremendous work i guess but um i yeah i, I think i would love to see that i mean e even if it's without the jumping and we only have platforms and climbing pieces that are let alone would already be a pretty much a crazy win and if speaking of crazy we could even go once more further we could finally have proper ropes because imagine if you don't need to have different rope pieces why can't we just have like a connector rope piece with a variable length just as the fence tool that cr lets us create perfect ropes that animals can climb um, and then we can stick whatever we want as a styling in between. That would also be pretty huge. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this deeper look into potential solutions for the definitely existing climbing issues we had at this have at this point. And um, yeah, I really hope you found this helpful. If you guys have ideas how to solve it on short, to short term, because one thing I didn't mention, the system as it is, is in the game and we can't expect anything groundbreaking to be changed in Planet Zoo at this point. It's not happening because it's too much baked into the core of the game and this is why I try to come up with solutions that use the system available just to keep that in mind. But if you guys have more ideas, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what you think of this idea and if you fancy doing so, share this with friends and uh, whoever you want to send this to to make sure that everyone sees this and hopefully we get an improvement of this system in the game because I'd love to see that. I'd love to have my habitats of jaguars and stuff finally so nice that they can climb exactly the way I want them to. So far, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a wonderful weekend. I talk to you in the next one. And if you want to have more of this kind of content, uh, more tutorials, more stuff like that, please consider subscribing as well. Help me out to reach 100k in this year. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. Stay safe in these weird times and goodbye.